mainstream media, and especially uh, from the Prime Minister and his office, we want to have a closer liaison. We have probably one of the most uh, deepest, strongest relationship uh, between China and Pakistan. But the interaction between uh, uh, our media's, uh, uh, our cultural interaction is not as uh, good as, as a political relationship. So uh, this idea uh, meeting today is basically to improve this interaction. Uh, I, I speci especially want to take this occasion to uh, congratulate China and the Communist Party. I think on its 100th, uh, it is uh, the anniversary of uh, uh, the CPC. Uh, also, uh, in Pakistan, we admire President Xi Jinping as one of the great statesmen of uh, the modern world. We have uh, admiration for him in Pakistan for two particular reasons. One, his commitment uh, to fight corruption, the, the commitment that uh, a society uh, m must be, there must be rule of law in a society. In other words, uh, the powerful must be brought under the law. And corruption is, uh, when it destroys a country, it is when there is a corrupt elite which does not bring itself under the rule of law, and they are the ones who do the maximum damage. So I have uh, watched the corruption drive, anti-corruption drive of uh, President Xi Jinping, and we here in Pakistan are very impressed by the way he has uh, so many high-level uh, officials, ministerial-level people, have been um, held accountable for their uh, for their corrupt for for their corruption. Secondly, and the most uh, remarkable thing about. Um, China, which we all admire, is that the way they have brought so many millions of people out of poverty. The figure we are told is uh, almost uh, 700 million people have been brought out, brought out of poverty in the last uh, six, seven years. And recently, uh, China announced that China has finally eliminated uh, extreme poverty. So this is, I think, uh, one of the most remarkable achievements of any human society. I don't think there is any precedent in history of uh, a society achieving these great goals. Uh, and the third thing is that we in Pakistan are committed uh, to strengthen our relationship with China politically, as well as uh, 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 in terms of economy and trade. CPAC is a flagship program uh, uh, in the BRI. And for Pakistan, it is one of uh, a program which gives us the greatest optimism and hope for our future economic development. And we, are, we have a high level committee now to, to follow the CPAC projects. I'm going to Gawadar next week to uh, see the um, uh, uh, oversee the projects, the pace which they are moving on and, and to make sure that we meet our timelines. Uh, and then I'm hoping, Chinese yes, meet, meeting the Chinese labor, you know, who, who are working here uh, and yes, talk to them, interact with them. Uh, but also um, I look forward to my trip to, to uh, China, which is in the offing in the next month, two months and to further strengthen both our political uh, ties and our economic ties. Please go ahead. So, uh, as Your Highness just to say, that uh, the, in 2020, the Communist Party uh, already made a huge success in helping its people eliminate, in, in eliminate poverty. Also, it helps uh, the country to navigate its people uh, throughout the pandemic while achieve the uh, positive GDP growth. So uh, the, uh, the CPC is continually using its people-centered people policy so, uh, to, towards its people and towards governing, governing this country. So how do you comment, uh, co comment on this people-centered policy? And how do you think is CPC's role in the development of China? You see, 
the CPC is a unique model. Until now, we were told that the best way of uh, societies improving themselves uh, uh, is the Western uh, system of democracy. And we were told that that is the best way of uh, progress of a society. But what the CPC has done is that it has brought this alternate model and they have achieved, they have actually uh, beaten all Western democracies in the way they have, uh, in the way they have brought up uh, merit in the society. You see what is remarkable? A, a, a society succeeds if that society has systems which bring two things forward, meritocracy and accountability. Accountability of the ruling elite, which means a transparent system, which is very important for progress. And secondly, which brings up merit in a society. So until now, the feeling was that democracy, is the uh, electoral democracy, is the best way uh, where you get merit, uh, leadership based on merit, and then hold that leadership accountable. But what CPC has done is that without that electoral democracy, it has actually achieved that and much better. The, what I saw uh, in China when I, when I visited the Communist Party headquarters and when they gave us briefings, their system of sifting talent and then grooming it and bringing it up, for me is, uh, is probably more remarkable than any democratic, electoral democracy uh, uh, does not bring up uh, that sort of meritocracy or uh, uh, can hold uh, people accountable. And third thing is that it's a very flexible system. You know, when they want to change something, that system allows them to bring a change. In our society, for instance in Pakistan, even in Western democracies, it's very difficult to change, bring change in a system because you're stuck in so many uh, regulations and democracy straight jackets you. So you cannot always do what is the best for the society because of all the impediments in our system. Whereas I find that in the, the greatness of the way China has improved so quickly is because they, they make changes very quickly. They feel that something is not working, they change it. The system allows them to change. And the fourthly, of course, the long-term planning, uh, they plan so far ahead, uh, sometimes in a, in a democracy.